welcome back to our youtube channel today we are going to see the dice problem that is chef is playing the game consisting of n rounds in each round he rolls a dice in a regular phase six phase dice okay he starts with an initial score of zero less the number of number rolled by him in a particular round we x okay so if this is not the first round the previous number rolled was one chef will add two into x to his score otherwise he will add x to his score okay so let's see this is the case so what is the case like in first this is the only round so we can't add more scores so we are adding two here and in second we are having one so we need to have one right but in the third round what is the possible thing like it is not the first round and the previous value is one so we can add the two times of this six okay so we are adding two into six that is the thing so what we are given <coughs> So we are given n and we need to find the maximum score. So the maximum score is possible 6, right? So let's suppose okay, here if we both have 6 and 6 in both attempts, the answer will be 12. But if you see here answer is 13. Why? Because there is one extra rule here. So what is that rule? So in this rule n equal to 2, we can have 1 and 6. If this is the case, what we can have 1 plus. 2 into 6 as per the rule because previous value is 1 so we are getting 13 right what you can understand like for two consecutive pairs if they have 6 and 6 this will contribute to 12 but if it has basically 3 mm, yeah we can say that so if it is basically 3 uh, suppose 1 and 6 like that so then it will contribute to 13 right so one thing you can do what is that if it is even right if it is even what you can do like just do n by 2 n by 2 times you can add 1 and other n by 2 times you can add 2 into 6 right so let's say let me write again other n by 2 what you can do you can do n by 2 into 6 into 2. You can do this. This will help you. Like if you see n equal to 4, what is that? 4 by 2, that is 2. 4 by 2, that is 2. 2 into 6 is 12. 12 into 2, that is 24. So you will get your answer. But here is a catch of odd thing. What if the n is odd? That is a good case, right? So if n is odd, like that it will be 1, we don't want to have 1 here, we will have 6 here, obviously, like we can't make the pair, so we will take the bigger number, that is the obvious case, so let's say we have this case, 3, so what we can have, we can have one pair of 1, 6 and other, there is no pair we can form, so what we will do, we will do this, right, so this is the solution for this. So what we can do? Let's see the code for this. Mm, okay. So if n is even, what we need to do? Just add this n by 2 times 1. This is the same value. We can ignore this one as well. This one. If we want. And then We'll do this. Like I just simplified this. Like uh, we have n by two, n by two into two times six. So we can cancel out this two and two. That's why I've written like that. Okay. And if that is not the case, if it is odd, then we need to do this thing same copy paste, then this, and then this. Okay. So why like you are you are thinking? Like uh, why I have not done same thing like it here. Let's suppose if we have 3 by 2. Right. Basically the integer division is 1. So we will have 1 into 6 into 2. That will be 12. Right. But if we directly do like this n into 6 to so 3 into 6. That will be 18. So that is not the right thing. That's why I have done like that. Hope you understood the solution. Like this video. Subscribe the channel. Thank you. And keep coding. Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the dice problem. 
that is Saif is playing the game consisting of n rounds in each round he rolls a dice in a regular phase six phase dice okay he starts with an initial score of zero less the number of number rolled by him in a particular round vx okay so if this is not the first round the previous number rolled was one Saif will add two into x to his score otherwise he will add x to his score okay so let's see this is the case so what is the case like in first this is the only round so we can't add more scores so we are adding two here and in second we are having one so we need to have one right but in the third round what is the possible thing like it is not the first round and the previous value is one so we can add the two times of this six okay so we are adding two into six that is the thing so what we are given <coughs> So we are given n, and we need to find the maximum score. So the maximum score is possible six, right? So let's suppose okay, here if we both have six and six in both attempts, the answer will be twelve. But if you see here, answer is thirteen. Why? Because there is one extra rule here. So what is that rule? So in this rule, n equal to two, we can have one and six. If this is the case, what we can have one plus. Two into six, as per the rule, because previous value is one, so we are getting thirteen. Right? What you can understand, like for two consecutive pair, if they have six and six, this will contributes to twelve. But if it has basically three, hmm, yeah, we can say that. So if it is basically three, uh, suppose one and six, like that. So then it will contribute to thirteen, right? So one thing you can do. What is that? If it is even, right? If it is even, what you can do? Like just do n by two. N by two times you can add one, and other n by two times you can add two into six, right? So let's say let me write again. Other n by two, what you can do? You can do n by two into six into two. You can do this. This will help you. Like if you see n equal to four, what is that? Four by two, that is two. Four by two, that is two. Two into six is twelve. Twelve into two, that is twenty-four. So you will get your answer. But here is a catch of odd thing. What if the n is odd? That is a good case, right? So if n is odd, like that, it will be one. We don't want to have one here. We will have six here. Obviously, like we can't make the pair. So we will take the bigger number. That is the obvious case. So let's say we have this case three. So what we can have? We can have one pair of one six and other. There is no pair we can form. So what we will do? We will do this. Right. So. This is the solution for this. So what we can do? Let's see the code for this. Hmm. Okay. So if n is even, what we need to do? Just add this n by two times one. This is the same value. We can ignore this one as well. This one, if we want, and then. We'll do this. Like I just simplified this. Like uh, we have n by two, n by two into two times six. So we can cancel out this two and two. That's why I've written like that. Okay. And if that is not the case, if it is odd, then we need to do this thing. Same copy paste. Then this, and then this. Okay. So why? Like you are, you are thinking. Like uh, why I have not done same thing like it here? Let's suppose if we have three by two, right? Basically, the integer division is one, so we'll have one into six into two. That will be twelve, right? But if we directly do like this, n into six to so three into six, that will be eighteen. So that is not the right thing. That's why I have done like that. Hope you understood the solution. Like this video, subscribe the channel. Thank you, and keep coding.